let me describe you the input and the output of the GT1000. From right to left we have the input of the guitar, the main outputs for connecting the GT1000 to an amp in mono or in stereo, the headphone jack, the connections for connecting two external effects in mono or one stereo effects, the so-called sub-output that are basically two XLR connections that should be used for instance for connecting the unit directly to a mixer or a full range pair of speakers. Then we have two inputs for connecting two external expression pedals or foot switch. Then we have the output for amp channel switching. We have one USB 2 port for the connection to the computer because the unit can serve even as an audio interface. We'll discuss this argument a little bit later. We have the MIDI in and MIDI out jacks the power button and then the jack for connecting the power adapter because uh, unfortunately this unit uh, has an external power adapter. As regards the front panel of the GT1000 we have uh, two rows of uh, five foot switches. With the low row you can basically switch the patch inside the specific bank. With the upper row you can uh, switch the bank down or up and then you have three controllers the third one is typically associated with the tuner you can switch the tuner on and off the second one is typically associated with an effect you can switch on or off an effect with the third one typically you control the signal chain i mean if you press this button you enter the signal chain as you may notice here you have two specific signal chain and you can associate to each of the chain a specific amp or a specific amp settings. So with this button you select one of the two signal chains you have previously set. In the signal chain you can put effects obviously before or after the amp and as I was saying previously you can have two specific set of amps switching them with this button. Now let me share with you how I use the GT1000 as an audio interface because there are a few tips that I think could be useful. Basically the GT1000 communicate with the computer with six input and six output channels. The uh, six output channels that go from the GT1000 to the computer basically are the channel 01 send to the computer the dry signal of your guitar the channel 2 and 3 send to the computer the main output and the channel 4 and 5 send the computer the sub output now building the signal chain of the GT1000 I would suggest to put the timing and the modulation effects after the main output and before the sub output so that you have basically six tracks in your audio workstation the dry signal of the guitar channel 01 the signal of the sound processed by the GT1000 but just with the amp and these are the channels 2 and 3 and then you have the signal processed by the GT1000 with also the effects and these are the channels 4 and 5. In this way you can decide while mixing the amount of effects that you want applied to your sound. Uh, I do this because I, I've always found that it is better to decide the amount of the timing and the modulation effects while mixing. So in this way you can do it using the timing and modulation effect of GT1000 instead of using plugins. In this way I can calibrate the appropriate amount of effect needed that has to be current with all the instruments that are in the song. But let me show you what I do in my digital audio workstation. I would use just 
uh, four channels without using the dry channel because I don't need the dry signal for showing you what I mean. So basically here I have four tracks. The first two that are the channel coming out from the main outputs of the GT1000 with only the amp and cab simulation of the GT1000. Then the other two tracks that contains the output coming from the channel 4 and 5 that contains the timing and modulation effects. So now while mixing I can do whatever choice I want without the need to record once again the track. For instance, I can use the amp simulation of the GT1000 using my favorite software reverse and delay or I can use the complete effect chain of the GT1000. And uh, let me also point out that channel 4 and 5, I mean the channel coming from the GT1000 that contains effects, contains 100% of the effects without the direct signal of the guitar. So in this way when I increase the volume of the sub output that contains the effects, I basi I'm basically adding only the effects to my song without uh, adding the signal of the guitar. So I think that uh, the kind of flexibility that the GT1000 gives you is quite nice. Another important aspect of the package uh, that uh, is offered by the GT1000 is the software that comes with it. First of all, we have the app for controlling the GT1000 parameters, uh, signal change and so on and so forth from Mac or PC. Uh, that is called Tone Studio. You can basically control every aspect of the GT1000, changing the signal chain, the parameters of each effect, the position of the sub out and the main output, and so on and so forth. Then we have the app for modifying the setting and controlling the GT1000 with the iOS or Android tablet or phone uh, with the Bluetooth. This is uh, the app, I think that is very useful. You can basically control all the parameters of the GT1000 with this app. You can change the signal chain, pressing, pressing this button and then moving the effects. You can switch on and off a specific effect or pressing effect, you can change the parameter of that specific effect. The only drawback is that it is only vertical, it doesn't switch horizontally. Then another software is the IRD Output Select Library that is used in order to adapt the GT1000 to the amplifier you have. For instance, a Fender or an AC30 and so on and so forth. Then we have the IR Loader. So yes, an IR loader has been added uh, by Boss and this feature was not present uh, with the first release of the software of the GT1000. Then you have the driver for connecting the Unix to Mac or PC. And this is the, the first device actually I have that needs driver for connecting the Unix to the Mac. Then we have the Boss Tone Central, which is a library service offering additional content for Boss products. It is accessible from the Tone Studio and you can basically download sounds made by other guitarists, for instance by Steve Lukather. So, as you may have noticed, uh, there is a lot of software that comes with the GT1000 and I think that it is even a little bit messy. I would like to suggest to Boss to rationalize it, for instance adding the IR loader or IRD output select library inside the Tone Central. So it would be easier for us to have everything in one software without changing software to do different things. So we reached the end of this video, I really enjoyed it. And if you did it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. It will be a great day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.